Well, here we are back at Rocket Industries once again, so let's go inside and take a look around. For all you drag racers out there heading to the drag strip, this is a great little device. Nitrous oxide. This will wake just about any engine up, believe me. It's incredible stuff. It all dates back to World War II. They started using nitrous oxide in World War II fighter aircraft to wake those things up to get a little bit more speed out of them to get away from the enemy. Now effectively, nitrous oxide is a form of chemical supercharging. The nitrous oxide is held within this bottle under quite an amount of pressure. It is then run down through a line, down to the front of the car, the front of the vehicle, to your intake system. It then enters the intake and goes into the combustion chamber. And with an additional amount of fuel, will make a drastic power improvement. Now when it comes to your engine in your car, depending on what you have, as an example, a standard engine will support around about 100 to 150 horsepower injection of nitrous. Now you do have to make some changes, usually retarding the ignition timing and a slightly colder heat range of spark plug will do the trick. This style here is probably the most common and it's been around for many, many years. You see this plate actually bolts underneath your four barrel carburetor and you have this inlet here, these inlet pipes here. They've got very small holes, almost like a, a very tiny little orifice throughout this pipe here that actually injects the nitrous into the engine. And then you've got also through one pipe, additional fuel that's actually entering the engine as well. You've got to remember all that oxygen packed in there needs extra fuel or you're going to lean that thing out and hurt the engine. It's no different to any other type of high performance modification, but it is accentuated with nitrous. So you've got to make sure you keep up with that side of it. Now the ultimate for me and those big bad nitrous combinations is the Fogger system. This system here. And if you have a look here, You'll notice these nozzles here. Fuel and nitrous enter the nozzle directly into each individual intake runner. There's no better setup, believe me. And here you'll see the fuel solenoids. These actually control the fuel going into the actual nozzle. They shut it off and also switch it on. And the same with these nitrous solenoids over here as well. As you can see, it's quite a comprehensive kit here with relays and switches and the likes. But if it's set up correctly, there is no better way to make horsepower than nitrous oxide. Believe me, I've done it. I couldn't believe when I saw it on the dyno for the very first time many years ago. The torque increase was absolutely dramatic. I've never heard an engine sound so angry when you flick that switch.